After seeing Earth from the moon, Neil Armstrong said it changed his perspective of humanity. Before, there were arbitrary divisions and strife. But afterwards, he only saw one people. All losers who hadn't been on the moon ever. No, this is accurate. Uh, I believe that this is in quite literally all of his interviews, where he opens it with a question to the reporter. Have you ever been to the moon? They always answer no, at which point he points and laughs. That's just the nature of being a moon man. Hello everybody and welcome to Calvis. My name is Lumo and today we are looking at r slash hole up, a subreddit dedicated to the subversion of your own expectations as to what has transpired within this post. Let's just get right into it. Five year old me falling asleep in the car and waking up in my home's bed. 20 year old me falling asleep in the car and waking up in the hospital's bed. But the post understands this because the title is a bed is a bed. Man, man. I'm sad that I'm like a, a you know 26 year old meat goliath because I w I miss falling asleep in the back of the car and waking up in my bed. Now it's just someone splashing water on me and going, "Hey, get out of my car." And it's like, "I'm sorry. I thought this was America. I didn't think I had to ask your permission to sleep in your car." But you know, that's what you get for breaking into people's cars for a quick power nap. If a service dog without a person approaches you, it means the person is down and in need of help. Follow the dog and you'll get a free purse or wallet. I get that service dogs aren't trained for uh, combat scenarios, but uh, straight up and down, I'm pretty sure it will maul you if you're not helping. Like if you're actively harming, that dog is gonna kick into defense mode because that dog wants the best for its person on the ground. Unless it's a golden retriever, in which case it will help you find the wallet. Man, golden retrievers are such good dogs. It's a shame that they've got himbo energy. Actually, doesn't that make them the perfect dog for me? Well now hold on, I think I might need to go to a kennel. I think I might need to rescue a golden retriever now. I found my doggy equal. Tinder is for rookies. Go to Facebook Marketplace and search for wedding dresses. It'll show you recently divorced females in your area. From there, you can filter by size. That, that's scummy and I'm mad because it's scummy, but it's also brilliant in like a horrible doofenshmirtz actually taken over the world kind of way. Like it, it is some Eggman levels of stuff where it, it radiates like wine mum energy and I'm not here for that. <laughs> I'm not here for that. I need to save. I need to save my reputation here by saying do not approve and I gotta I gotta save myself on this one and say I really don't approve. During a vid call I realized my co-worker had an extremely high quality webcam. I asked her about it and she said she streams regularly. I asked for her Twitch ID and she asked watch Twitch. Oh, scary. I mean I'm not, I'm not gonna immediately go to a couple different sites and y'all know the ones. But I will say, um, could be streaming on Facebook, LMAO. She could be streaming on YouTube, which is actually kind of a passable streaming platform, honestly. Look, okay, I just don't want to go there right now, okay? I've been trying to do my best to not think about these kinds of things. The Calvis is happening and I need to stay focused. So I'm not, I'm not going there. You can. But don't do it in the comments. Do it on Twitter. Twitter accepts that. The comments don't. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. My name has been Lumo Black. Time Traveler. What year is it? American Soldier. It's 1918 and we just won the Great War. Time Traveler. You mean World War One? American Soldier. Say psych right now. Man. It's a war so nice we had to fight it twice. Honestly though, like... As weird as it is, I think World War II proves that, like, going too hard on the punishment will only create more strife, you know what I mean? Like, if we didn't put Germany in such an awful spot after World War I, I highly doubt an art student would have become supreme dictator, you know what I mean? Like, we, because of the, you know, the sanctions and everything we put on Germany, like, that, that just kind of further stressed the situation. Like, it made it easier for someone promising the world to get in the power, like, I find the politics of between World War One and World War Two to be extremely fascinating, but I probably got something wrong there, so take what I say with a grain of salt. I just think it's really interesting to see what lessons can be learned there. If your hands are cold, it's just your ghost boyfriend holding your hand. My, f My feet are cold. Oh. Hey, Vsauce, Michael here. Your toes aren't in my mouth, or are they? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is so uncomfortable. This is the worst. But also, I just love the my F. 
something about that radiates an energy that I'm here for. That like, too excited to get the joke out lines, and it's just like, you hit enter too early. And that's a mood. That's a whole mood. You can ask some of my friends, I do this on repeat. Especially if I'm writing a script, they will see me start typing and the line just ends. And that's just the reality of the situation. Hey, YouTube! Maybe don't put ads before first aid videos. I don't have time to watch a Red Lobster ad when my grandma's choking on a fish bowl. Sorry to hear about that trouble. YouTube Premium offers an ad-free experience when you watch videos. Learn more here. Hope this helps. Yeah, no, okay, I, look. As a social media manager, and, you know, I work the support desk at my job, we don't have time to read all of these individually. And like, we're a smaller company than YouTube. We don't have time to read everything individually. And we don't have time to type up individualized responses. This was someone getting hit by like the auto reply bot who saw the mentioned ads and just went for it. Like, it, it sucks, but that's just kind of the nature of mass, you know, mass media. It, it sucks. And I'm, I, I hope this person's grandma did not choke on a fish bone, but you know what I mean? I think you know what I mean. What the frick? I can't believe after all this crap, they back together. Who? My butt cheeks out of my own! <laughs> Yo, that is a hundred tons of classy right there. I respect that. Man, that, that butt do be clapping though. That is, that is amazing. That is so good. That, that, that actually was a setup and a punchline. And you know what? We get so few of those and I, I could cry. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's well crafted. It's classless, but classy. It baits somebody. And when they took the bait, they got hit with the line comedy. Hey, five guys, I loved your burgers and always draw a cute little picture for your cork board. Awesome art. Thanks for sharing. <laughs> I don't think I need to add more to this. I once asked a girl if she wanted to go to Five Guys for lunch who I worked with, and she was like, ah, oh, my stomach can't handle, you know, their burgers. And I was like, so what you're telling me is you can't handle the meat of Five Guys. She stared daggers, and honestly, that was the best first date I've ever had. <laughs> Ah, it was actually a nice relationship. Bro, I just watched Avengers Endgame. You want the nice spoiler? Okay, but just one. I saw your GF at the cinema with the other guy. Ooh. Mr. Stark, I ain't feeling so good. That is, oh, that's some, that, that is some cring. That hurts, that causes physical pain. Oh man, I, I, I don't think that was a spoiler. I think that spoiled her. That's just so bad. I hope that dude. It gets out of that relationship because I think it's just reached its end the game. Why does Squidward's face show more emotion than Elsa's? His paycheck. I mean, yeah, given the time that Squidward has spent in Hollywood, I would imagine that he's paid a lot more. And Elsa's relatively new talent, like she just got off of her casting couch days. So like, I can imagine her paycheck isn't amazing, but at least it's not the couch. But man, I want to know why Squid, why uh, Mr. Krabs is showing more emotion than Frozen Anna. Like, let's just bring that out there. Some guy said he would buy me an iPad if I sent him the chair I sit in every day. Why would I do that? People are just so weird. Twitter for iPad. <laughs> oh, oh, that's so good. Who wouldn't do that for an iPad? I mean, it's weird, but like, you send them the chair and then you don't talk to them again. You get the iPad, you block them, and it's over. That's how I deal with my tier three subs. I have gone to eight chairs and have eight iPads. What people don't tell you is the iPads at the Apple store are free. This, this is what the globalists don't want you to know. You can take home an iPad and they can't stop you. I have 47 iPads. My son bet me that he could make a piece of paper fly further than I could. So he spent 10 minutes making the fanciest paper airplane I've ever seen. The look on his face when I crumpled mine into a ball and launched it across the house was priceless. Sucks to be a loser. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, keep it simple, stupid. Oftentimes, the simplest solution is the best, and this proves it. Notice! While you read this, there is a man in a window taking your photograph. He will make a tiny model of you and put it with the others. He plays weird games with them. Ooh, I don't like that. Oh, that makes me feel the bad inside. God, this is actually uncomfortable. I don't like this. This is probably the guy asking for the chair. Smart people have poor eyesight because lower graphics makes your brain run faster. Stephen Hawking has closed all background tasks for more FPS. No, no, he's got a point. Ooh, that is, that is awful. You should feel bad, but it's also a good joke. So I'm going to give you a pass. 
but this hurt my insides dramatically. And that's all the time we have here today on Calibus. If you like this, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and maybe share with a friend who could use a little bit of subversion in their day. If you do want more, r slash hold up. Let me know that coming up in just a couple of seconds. But until then, my name has been Lumo, and I hope to see you in the very next Calibus video. Have a bleep blop the bleep bleep.